Welcome back to the channel guys, welcome back to the another video. In today's video, I'm going to talk about iOS 18.7 and it's been a while I didn't made any video of iOS 18 but there are still people who are still on iOS 18 and they have some solid reasons that why they don't want to move to the iOS 26. So this is a long term review of iOS 18.7 I will try to keep this video short and simple. In this video, I will be talking about the battery life and I will be talking about the performance. So over here, here is the device that is running iOS 18.7. This is the iPhone XS. Its battery health is on service. It is on 77%. Now without any further delay, let's get dive into the battery stats and see how the battery performing. So I will get into the settings and I will get into the battery section over here. As you can see the battery is on service over here. And first of all let's talk about the overnight battery draining. Now as you can see this is a straight line. A straight straight line. Now this straight line means that there is no overnight battery draining. Okay. If this wasn't a straight line it was, if it was a, something like a curve which will be like battery is draining overnight but it's a simple straight line which means no battery dropped overnight which is a really really good sign now over here let's get moved to the last 10 days and this is the day where i was using this device now if i see this day and compare what is the battery health battery time i consume i used 75 percent of battery life it is on the 75 percent graph so i use 75 percent of battery life and against the 75%, I got 5 hour and 4 minute screen on time. Now, this is a decent screen on time, not that bad. This is a decent screen on time for this much old device. This is my device with a really bad battery situation. I think this is a really good time. Now, during this time, I used different applications. So, I was watching stuff on YouTube. I was active on threads, Instagram, and some other applications, as you can see. I also shoot it a 4k um, vid video using black magic cam so that's a cool thing now if you're not following me on instagram i posted few stories yesterday make sure to follow me on instagram by the way i posted a few stories that i'm dusting this update and how the things are going on i was also showing you that i'm using you know youtube and all stuff so you can go and follow me on instagram if you want to um, but if I conclude the battery life, this is a decent battery life. It seems better. It is good. Because I don't have other days because I don't use this much device. Because I most of the time I am testing out iOS 26. But still this is a really good update in terms of battery life. Now let's move to the uh, performance. And in terms of performance, I didn't face any issue. When I go over here and do this, there is a lag. And I think that is a lag on every other iPhone. I'm not sure. If, because I'm getting the same lag on also on iPhone 11 and on some other couple of iPhones. But honestly, haven't faced any sort of lag. It feels buttery smooth. As you can see, I don't have any sort of issue. Things are working nice. You know, you can also follow me on threads. You can see the speed, no issue at all. Everything opens, you know, at a good time. No lag, nothing like that. So things are decent, things are working fine. And if I get into the Geekbench and talk about how the Geekbench is going on for the CPU, I will get over here. This is the iOS 18.7. I got 1322 on a single core and 302 on a multi core. Now, single core is higher than the average one. Also, the multi-core is also higher than the average one, as you can see. Now, this is a good sign. The scores are higher than the average one. Definitely, it is not the highest score, but it is one of the good score, which is a really, really good sign. Now, if you get back into the GPU benchmark and GPU history over here, I got 9898. And that is way higher than the average GPU meta score of iPhone XS. I got 9898 which is insanely good and it is one of the one of the best which is a good sign. So overall in terms of performance this update is good. On paper things are good. Now so far I talk about the um, battery life and performance. I am satisfied with the both of the things because both things are working perfectly fine. 
I don't have any issue at all. If you want to stay on the iOS 18.7 instead of iOS 26, definitely you can. But again, what you are losing is definitely a simple design is over here. I still like this design. I don't hate this design, but it feels outdated, honestly. And if you want to try our new stuff, iOS 26 is the way to go. But again, that's all from this video. And I hope to catch you guys in my next video. Until then, take care. Peace out.